you know, I wish I had the ability to check these out, uh, but the lacerators, you know, you could get them during this event. You can craft them, and here it is right here. You know, it looks pretty freaking sweet. And I wish I would have, you know, if, I wish I could have the chance to get them. I don't, I didn't play a ton, so I couldn't really obviously get them, but it's only something that's available during this time, and so it's a pretty special part. Now, the thing with the... The thing with the lacerators are that they do more damage the longer you're in contact with something. But I think, what did, didn't somebody do a test or something that it seemed as though, or maybe it was with the, what, are they even called the Druzbuzz anymore? What are they called now? The Maulers. With the Maulers, like only one or two touched all the time. And so I wonder if it's the same way with the lacerator or if it's different. Just love to hear your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of them. You guys remember this build? This is the build that I dubbed to be the best build that I ever played with. It's got two Reapers and a cap can. The thing absolutely shreds thing things down. It's got tons and tons of ammo, and you can just constantly fire with the thing. It's quite insane, but I think I found a way to make it even better, and it revolves around a higher output damage weapon, as well as a couple tweaks to the vehicle itself. I think it should do well. Uh, I hope so at least. Let's do it. Sector X. So here's what I did. I took this build and I tried to find uh, different weapons that could go into this. Something that could be better than the Reaper. Now the Reaper is obviously really good because it's got that sustained damage for a long time. However, I tried the crickets. I don't. The crickets didn't work, but I think they might have if I would have tweaked it slightly bit more. Uh, like I did with these to make these work. But I put some retchers on. And they are absolutely devastatingly good and do a ton of damage. And then I put on some coolers, which is going to allow me to shoot for even longer, which should be really good. And so I'm hoping that I'll be able to just utterly destroy parts on vehicles. Now, the, the main problem, though, is, is having to worry about the... Uh, just the simple fact that the, I had to move the retchers forward a little bit, which makes me a little concerned. I did try the locusts, and the locusts worked. Um, you could put three of them on, and they they do you know quite a bit of damage in and of themselves. But the the biggest thing is just just making everything work the way it's. I can't turn. I can't turn. I always forget about those front tracks. Things don't always work together the way that they should. Okay, let's try to figure out a different approach here. There is a cloaked up guy somewhere. This thing turns so fast. Makes me nervous on Sector X because of the the fact that you got that ledge. And I think, I mean, retchers are so freaking deadly. And I took an ammo box off. I tweaked the thing slightly. Put two coolers on. And, uh... Oh, gosh, I thought that was the guy come up on me and pop a cap can it's what it sounded like okay they still got quite a bit of guys there's sadland always look for sadland man oh there's there two back here chasing this guy kind of want to go for that loner guy i also want to just try to rain some down on sadland over here What does he got? Oh, I thought he had, I thought he had snipers. Please come through here. It. I don't want to lose my stuff though. Even though I've got tons of armor on this thing, he could still uh, cause me enough damage to have some issues. Let's go together. Was that that guy? The good thing about this thing is that since it is so freaking heavy, you can just push things around pretty easily. It's just running into me. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go as planned. Crap. <laughs> we'll try. Again. We'll try again. I th I thought that guy got killed because. They, they were like attacking him and then all of a sudden they stopped so I did that did not 
That was not good. Not good at all. Uh, the wretchers definitely seem to do quite a bit of damage. I kind of want to back out and show you what I was doing, what I was thinking. Yeah, so I had to move them up a little bit because they don't fit in there. And so I tried the crickets and they fit, but the problem was just like the trajectory of them. And I wonder if it's, see, they kind of, it, it gets, it gets snagged. See how it's getting snagged? So those don't really work, but the locusts do work. And you could stack, you could stack two on each other. Um, but the problem is that they just don't, they just weren't doing enough enough damage or I can't I can't do two but you get it um, it didn't it didn't work it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to and so I thought well let's try retchers and normally as you guys probably know I don't like using retchers or any grenades because I there's the durability is so low but since there's so much armor on this beast I figured hey this could work so let's give it a shot I think this is my new favorite build like the best build like this thing is definitely in my opinion well i think some people would disagree but like depending on what you're facing this thing is really good because this is constant fire damage damage output and so you can take out hovers and all kinds of other things pretty easily this thing though if i think in the right hands not me <laughs> it could be devastatingly good um it's pretty freaking beastly though this thing all right power plant I, I, I'm I'm fully convinced that this will be better, given enough like testing and given enough matches. I, I'm fully convinced this will be a better version, just simply because of the damage that it could do. In like, it's so maneuverable, it's crazy. And you know you can just spam and stuff and hope for the best. Things coming down through there. He's coming up through there. They come and burned. Burned. See, I just gotta get. Look at that. Two, look at that damage. It's nice being able to shoot over time too, and have to and just lay into them. Jeez, Louise! Things dying all around me over here. And you could just, you know, lay down support by just draining in. And I got tons of ammo, just raining in nades all day. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this guy's build. What do you got going on there? I like whatever you got. Yo, look, his cab is exposed, huh? Fully exposed cab. Everybody likes porcupines, man. I love me some barrels. This thing is too maneuverable for its own good. Driving like a maniac over here. Come on, dude. Nicholas. Got somebody hitting with a Tesla somewhere, it sounds like. Oh, jeez. It's a war zone. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, somebody who's better with these things could do way better than me because they're just used to using them, whereas I am not. And so I find myself... Like, I don't know how to, what to do and how to position my vehicle to hit in the most effective ways and stuff. I don't know how people use these hover cannon builds. They seem crazy to me. You know, you take one, you take a couple blasts like that, and you take a couple blasts like that from a retcher, and you can completely obliterate something, especially a hover build. So I, that's why I'm just convinced this is better. This is a better iteration. All right, this map, it's so high power score, it's hard to get into matches with the thing. Like, I like it, but it's like, it's not as easy. Oh yeah, like me some of those builds. Middle child, dude, I love the front facing, the forward facing arty builds, they're so deadly. Especially people who are really good with them, because they drop so fast. Uh, I mean, you, you want to talk about obliterating Builds quickly. You know, this thing needs is a chameleon, though. Stinking hover. These stinking hover builds, man. Sorry, dude. I'm just getting out of here. Get out of there, bro. Whoa. 
What just happened there? That's nice. That's nice. These hover builds back here, man. Wrecking. Wrecking us. See, I need to just be laying down this laying down this damage constantly. I'm gonna lose that if I keep shooting. Ah, he got it. Back up on him. Got him! Yeah, uh... I see, that's... That's the problem. They're so dirt, like, lightweight that... If I, if I don't sit back and somebody can target them, I'm gonna lose them quick. That's why I don't like Wretched, why I don't play with them. Because I can't find a build that's, that is good with it. Like, I can't find a good build for it. But this one is actually making me like playing with Wretchers because of just what they're doing. What are these builds? This guy's builds nothing. Who uses, who does that? Get somebody who doesn't get hit in a hover build, huh? All right, guys, I think this is, I think this is a better version. In my opinion, it is. I mean, it's nice to have, it's nice to have, what was this one? Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, it's nice to have, you know, Reapers, and they can lay down that much firepower over, you know, uh, sustained damage. Uh, but just uh, having the ability to just unleash an insane amount of damage very quickly is uh, very nice. I mean, this is nice, but it's just, you know what I mean? Like, it could be better, and that's why I wanted to try that. And I think that's a better version. I don't know. That's my opinion. I don't know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.